Hello, my name is John Selwood. I'm presenting this presentation on behalf of Instant CPD. And what we're going to be talking about here are the new charity SOPs, new for 2015. Uh, this session will be about two hours long. Uh, but if I were to cover all of the SOPs in enough, enough detail for you to understand every minute point, we might as well make that two weeks. I don't want to depress you, but there is a huge amount going on with both charity SOPs and new UK GAP. Now, I imagine most of you watching this will be aware of this accounting revolution that is occurring. Uh, but if you're not aware of the revolution and just expecting a few little tweaks to the standards, I think you could be in for a little bit of a shock with this session. Now, I remember presenting this particular course to a room full of people in Scotland for ICAS. And before I really got going, there was one person in the front row who just stopped to me and said, hang on, laddie, I, I won't do the accent. Hang on, laddie, you've got a typo on your first slide. It says SOPs, there's only one. Well, this was the first of many nasty shocks for that particular delegate, because as I hope most of you know, that there will be two charity SOPs for 2015. We've got the charity SOP Frizzy and the charity SOP FRS 102. Now, obviously, these SOPs have got much longer formal names and in the accompanying notes, you've got the full formal names. But for the purposes of this afternoon, I'm going to be talking about charity SOP Frizzy and charity SOP FRS 102. Now, if you want to get your hands on these documents and a lot of very useful guidance, you can go to the Charity Commission's website. You can have a look at their website. They've got a, uh, a separate micro site, they call it, that's charitysort.org. And you can download full versions of either standard. You can download edited versions. And there are some very useful help sheets that map one to another, if that's something you're interested in. But in this session, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving you an overview of the SORPs and I'll be diving into the detail where I think it's particularly useful and topical for us to do so. Where I'm going to start with is FRS 102. Now this is not an everything you need to know about FRS 102 type of session. Uh, that would take a lot longer than two hours. As I say it's an accounting revolution 102 but I'll give you a quick overview on new UK gap so that you can understand the drivers that are forcing change within charity accounting. Then we'll move on and we'll look at the final charity SORPs in overview. We'll contrast the Frizzy SORP and the FRS 102 SORP. We will attack the absolute killer question, which SORP should I be following? Which initially seems really straightforward, but the more you think about it, the more complicated it is. And unfortunately, for small charities, it tends to end up in a bit of frustration because it's a very difficult question to answer. What we're going to do is spend most of our time here talking about the FRS 102 SORP. I'll, I'll explain in more detail later why I'm going to go for that SORP more than the Frizzy SORP, which initially doesn't seem very logical given that most charities are small. But anyway, I get ahead of myself. We're going to spend a very good chunk of time, more than half this session, on section three, looking at the FRS 102 SORP, and then a very brief amount of time looking at the Frizzy SORP. Don't switch off those of you who deal with small charities, because we will cover lots of very relevant things for small charities as we go through the session here. I'll explain in just a few minutes why I've structured the session quite in the same way that I have. But let's start off with section one that deals with FRS 102 and the big driver for change in charity accounting. 